but the existing 100s, these are going to be better. These are better. Dang it, I just bought them better. Our smart batteries are getting even smarter. I'm Scott Lynn. I'm Brandon. All right, hey Brandon, tell us what makes this better. Sure. So the indication of having the black label on our batteries is that this battery comes with our new Dragonfly Intelligence. Okay. Which is what everything that new technology that we bring out with is going to be coined. Okay. So these batteries will have internal communication, talking to the PMS, talking to the entire bank, okay. so you can monitor state of charge, state of health, you can get errors, you can get recommendations for a solution. So all of that is done through what we're calling a mesh network that will talk to this hub. Okay. So that small component, the hub, is going to aggregate data from all of the batteries in your bank. Okay. You can QR code scan each battery using our new app and configure them how they look in your system. This hub will know where each battery is in your parallel system, parallel series, or all series system. So it can it can determine if it is operating as needed for that style system. Yeah. Let me ask you a stupid question. So this is a separate item somebody would order and then it works with that app you guys have, correct? Yep. What's this retail? Do you know what the retail's going to be? pricing on any of our new nope. stuff. Oh, that, Probably right. end of quarter one to quarter two, you can see this starting release. Will the new 100 be more than the old 100? It will be. The battery? Okay. Yeah. And the question is, if you know, a lot of these, what we're working is the real small stuff, 2,500. They might only have one battery. Yep. This might not be necessary for that thing, correct? Or are you going to wreck it? We are talking not. about hubs, but you know what I mean. But the really nice thing is that but the new battery is great. For the smaller systems, you know, talk about our older flagship series. Right. We're putting in a, a Bluetooth battery monitor. Shut. Okay. That's an extra component that takes up space, cable room. Where are you going to put that on the tongue? Right. You don't need that in. Okay. This small piece can be located somewhere conveniently inside of the small travel. Just screw it in or put in a cap. The range on this is extremely good, up to 30 meters. 30 so meters. Yeah, you can put this inside. It's powered by USB C. Sure. We don't need a battery monitor anymore, and you get better range than any battery monitor on the battery. So Battleborn's leading in the Dragonfly. Who's your uh, biggest competitor in 100 amp batteries? Lead acid. Lead acid, but I'm saying as far as uh, lithium batteries, I'm sorry. Is there one we, brand out there? We truly that, don't like you, to compare ourselves to other lithium batteries. Okay. The market is still so flooded with lead acid batteries, sure. but that is our main competitor that we're still going against. Okay, that's fair. I mean, you can buy that. Maybe just talking about the difference. And it's about four of those to one of these, five of those. Ten year warranty still, right? Ten year warranty is yeah. on these. It's eight years manufactured, two years prorated. Right. Maybe Wait. a main difference about our battery versus other people. Without mentioning it, yeah, what might be? Yeah. So we're using a cylindrical cell. Okay. During the design process of these batteries, we consider both prismatic and cylindrical. Layman's terms would be one. So cylindrical cells, we're using a small 26650 cell. Okay. Steel encapsulated cell. There's 120 of them in series parallel inside in there. Okay. that battery. Prismatic cells are a bit more of a block style. Okay. Where you'll see four of them drop down into a bin. Okay. With our cylindrical cells, because they're spot welded into mods, we get airspace around each bat, each cell, okay. allowing them all to heat and cool at the same rate. Where the prismatic cell, where you have them all squished together, you don't get that. You get cooling and heating on the on the outsides or in wherever it's at, right? When we get the full 100% depth of discharge on our batteries, you may look at a few of the other lithium batteries out there. The flying print tells you that you'll get X amount of cycles at 80%. Here's the deal. The people we're going to be talking to are doing the research, and you've answered questions like this a lot of times. Yep. So that's what we're trying to do is help them cut to the chase. Yeah. So if that helps anybody that would be watching this, say, hey, I want, how do you say it, centrifugal? How do you say that? So cylindrical. Cylindrical. I'm not a scientist. That's all right. We, um, we make a great battery that's about to get even better, even smarter with the Dragonfly Intelligence. The real nice thing about our company is that all of our batteries are back to our technical support team, which I'm on and you know. There's 12 of us who can answer all these questions, system design, recommendations. We have the best technical support in the industry. Made in Reno, or they're brought to basically distribute all these out of Reno, right? No, we're actually we are manufacturing in Reno. Okay. Dragonfly Energy is a battery manufacturer. 
Could you have to source some parts from overseas? To, yeah, I mean, it's a global it? economy yep. right now. Sure. But our end goal and the big push for Dragonfly Energy is to be our own all solid state lithium iron phosphate cell manufacturer. We're not there yet. We're very close. Okay. And Battleborn, where's that name come from? Uh, Nevada is the Battleborn State. Is that I'm with the college. Yeah, they ended up graduating from UC Davis, so we are familiar, very familiar with the area. I'm not a history. I guess I never knew. I always thought it was a silver state. At least it was on the license plate one time. But that born Nevada, cool man. I like that. Two two states to. I'm not a history guy. So Cedar joined the union. Um, Nevada and West Virginia. Well, either way, man. You know, I get it. And to me, when I first heard it, it was like I was thinking. You know, you're an overland problem. Yeah. Initially, you know, and so it's like, hey, we're battle born. We were born from battle, and that we went into. So I was kind of taking that. So I'm glad to know that. We like to say that our batteries are battle tested. We have put them. That's through, what I'm saying. It's how we I put felt. them through the DIY market, which, let's be honest, is pretty harsh. We give batteries to individuals who may not completely understand what they're doing. We designed a battery that's extremely user friendly. It's going to protect itself, protect the system. You guys recommend trickle charging, like you mentioned lead acid batteries. I trickle charge my yeah. battery when it's not in use seasonally. Yeah. Are, you recommend these? You don't have to? The self discharge rate on our batteries is so low, 2 to 3 percent on average per month, that you can charge up our batteries so they're at least about 50 percent, store them for six months to a year and not even think about it. You're talking to everybody out there, one of the biggest error codes you ever get yeah. is low voltage. Yep. So when they pull up to their RV, it's low voltage. Well, yep. with you guys in general, they don't get that error code and they're not all concerned. And, and I would say because you're 2 to 3% a month, whereas light acid, what does it deplete, do you think? Do you have any idea? Uh, it really depends on the manufacturer and the chemistry of it, but it could be up to 15%. Well, it's, it's pretty common. I mean, a lot of people can keep stored for a couple months and they force the heat and this and that. Yeah. Just isolate the battery from your system. Let it sit. Is there any danger with these? You know, lead acid, you open up the top, it can explode, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen there's a lot of accidents to it. We don't need to get into it, but you don't have that kind of danger with these. Lithium iron phosphate is the safest chemistry that you can be using. These are installed in the home. We are working towards whole home battery batteries. Sure. These are going to be inside, well, ideally every home in America. We'll get there. You guys were not doing 200 before. You do 200 amps yet? Or you we have a 270 amp hour over on that wall over there. So we have two different models of 12 volts and seven. Okay. But in general, we're still partnering these together, linking them together, like, or stringing them together. So we're, right? we're still doing parallel parallels. Okay. And that's a different cord. Can you parallel this to another one? Is that, can you guys sell that? How they parallel that or not? Yeah, we can sell cables and then we have different style batteries as well for the 12 Up on the Because if somebody there, wants to put two of these on a trailer, yeah. we'd have to put that parallel cable, right? Positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay. And that's pretty readily available, not just for you guys or anybody. Readily available in the main stores online. We have to ask the questions so that way you can, everybody has the answer. Cool. Anything else? Yeah, Weight difference, last but not least, is typically oh, what? These are about 70% lighter? Or no, no, let me back up. They're, well, they're, not, they're not half as light, they're about 30 to 40%. Lighter. You want to talk about usable capacity, where one of our batteries at 31 pounds gives you the same usable capacity as two lead acid of the same size, which is going to be about 130 to 140 pounds. And that would be a deep cycle 27, is what you're referring to? So. If you're sitting here and you've got tow ratings, a lot of things are real tight, and then all the weight doesn't help. I mean, this is so this is huge for the market that you're in. Two twenty sevens at hundred, you weigh down one hundred thirty pounds, and then this is thirty one. Nice. So you're saving hundred pounds, which is a lot. Call them with your sedan. I should be selling them. Thanks, man.